every recipe has a story. Food writing is storytelling. There are very few people whose books I want right away. I want to know what she's thinking right now. There's a deep love in the food. It really feels almost spiritual. A French writer once said, every recipe has a secret side. It's like the side of the moon. And the trick is, is to suss out that side in food. Well, I was born in Brooklyn during the Second World War. My mother, she needed me out of the way. <laughs> so she put me with my grandmother and grandfather, who were from the Balkans. She knew how to make the food of the old country. There I am, five years old. That's what I started with, understanding that there was something really interesting about food. It wasn't until I was in college, when I was trying to find myself, that I, I decided to go to cooking school with Dioni Lucas. She was on television, and after the first six classes, I said to her, oh, I don't want to go back to school. I want to just work for you. I spent a year with her. And then I uh, switched to Jim Beard. He accepted me as one of his people that he would help. He said, I've got a job for you at the new restaurant just opening called The Four Seasons. And I said, Mr. Beard, thank you for everything you've done for me. But I'm, I'm a beatnik and I'm going to Morocco. I was just trying to find out who I was. I never went and worked in the kitchen again, ever. I wanted to use food as a prism to explore the lives of other Mediterranean women, not just my grandmother. Paula completely brought the Mediterranean alive for all of us. She just kept searching for ingredients and regions and foods that Americans didn't yet know about. It's not just the food. Her stories and her bringing the people who taught her how to do a dish that makes you feel like you're on the trip with her. Starting with Madame Jaidi, who was the first woman I worked with, was a revelation to me. It became a model for me of how, you know, woman to woman, how to deal with, with things. She has this almost unworldly ability to form this powerful bond with cooks and to make them feel as if she is a part of the family and someone they want to share this recipe with. It's not just a question of getting the recipe. What's the story behind it? Throughout her career, she wrote hundreds of recipes. She spoke to a class of chefs who were searching for this kind of unapologetic embrace of food and all its complexity. If you can see, this is a food world. There's Jacques, Jacques Pepin, there's different people. Here's Alice and myself. Many, many of the dishes are part of the repertory of Chicanis. She inspires me. I learned a lot of incredible dishes from restaurant chefs in my life, but the ones that I learned from humble kitchens still put more of a smile on my face. You gotta show that you really care. And that's what I did. They sense something. I think it's love. <laughs>